Greetings, Homo sapiens, and welcome to Reality Check, the show that delves into the science of our video games and explores the real life fact behind the playable fiction. Now, as gamers, we have to admit that there are times that we don't always agree. Sometimes. Our favorite gaming platforms, for example, the best battle royale game, and whether or not the Y axis should be inverted. It should, it's a joystick. It's like flying a plane. Ford is down, what's wrong with you? However, there is one thing that we all share. Go back far enough in time and we are all descended from the same common ancestor, way back at the beginning of our modern human species, roughly 300,000 years ago. But what were our ancestors like before this time, before mankind? Enter Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, a new third-person open-world survival game where the player must control and guide a group of early primates, helping them to explore, expand, and ultimately evolve to advance to the next generation. So just what were our pre-human ancestors really like, and what can we learn from playing Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey? <laughs> So Ancestors tracks our change from 10 million years ago to roughly 2 million years ago. This is the period before we became humans, before we became the Homo genus. And it takes place in the kind of cradle of humanity that is East Africa. The species that you're playing in Ancestors is not just our ancestors, but the ancestors of the gorilla and the chimpanzees. Say hello to Simon Watt. The, the expert talking, not the primate on screen right now. I have no idea what his name is. When I jumped into Play Ancestors, I was swamped with questions about the reality of this time period and the primate creatures featured in the game. Fortunately, I know Simon and he is far too polite to ignore my calls. So, I started by asking him, how do we know anything about our ancestors 10 million years ago? Piecing together what our early ancestors might actually have looked like is very, very hard. And we have to use a combination of looking at the fossils that remain, but also trying to infer what they might have been like by comparing what we are like now with our close relatives, things like the chimpanzees and our more distant relatives, even things like the monkeys and the lemurs and the like. Behaviors that we see that we have, that they have, it is likely that our common ancestors also had. Speaking of behaviours, during my time playing Ancestors, one of my proudest moments early on was learning how to pick up sticks and strip them to then use as a tool for flipping over rocks. So I asked Simon, is this tool using kind of behaviour something we could expect that our ancestors were capable of? So the game shows an awful lot of tool use. It shows us even getting to an extent where we're manufacturing tools and honing them to do precise jobs. Of course. Wooden tools don't really fossilize. The remains of these things we can't see, but we can infer what might have happened by looking at us and our common relatives. And we know that we do see this in some of our cousins, things like the chimpanzees. Sometimes the chimpanzee, they'll go hunting for things like termites, and they've got a stick that they use to break into the mound, and a different stick that they use to try and fish out and get those nice tasty grubs. Once we're using things like stone tools and we're sharpening them and giving them an edge, then we find many more remnants, because that kind of thing sticks around in the fossil record. Interesting stuff, but it's not just tools that Ancestors exhibits our primate clan making good use of. As I explored the Neogene jungle, I carefully studied the properties of numerous local flora by cramming them in my ape face. I'll admit some of the effects were a tad trippy, but I was able to learn that some had positive effects. Some helped strengthen my bones, while others aided the clotting of my numerous wounds. Allegedly, I think she's just itchy. So I asked Simon, how does this idea of our ancestors self-medicating fit with the science? This is something we think it likely that our ancestors actually did. One of the reasons for this is when we look at some of our cousins, monkeys, lemurs, things like that, we see that they do very similar behaviours. The red-faced colobus monkey, for instance, has been shown to be eating charcoal to help it uh, detoxify dangerous plants that it might eat, while well, some species of capuchins in Central and South America have been shown to be getting piper leaves and rubbing them over themselves, perhaps as a way of trying to deter parasites, get things that have been living in their fur and get them out. Finally, for me, one of the stranger moments of my time playing Ancestors was when I decided to pick and eat some leaves in front of my clan, only for them all to copy exactly what I was doing. However, from speaking to Simon, I learned that this was not some form of prehistoric bullying, but rather Ancestors demonstrating a really important mechanism of how behaviour can be passed on. So a species and an individual can benefit by passing on as genes, but they can also pass on knowledge. Arguably one of the things which makes humans so special and makes our lineage so special is that we've also had a cultural transmission. Whenever we learn something, we can pass that on to future generations and keep that knowledge going within the cycle. 
There's some really cool studies coming out from Japan where they were studying Japanese macaques and they discovered that certain females that had discovered things like you could wash sweet potatoes to get the sand off them and make a much tastier meal, basically. That knowledge, that discovery that she made, it wasn't something that her descendants could inherit genetically, but that trait, that behaviour, that knowledge could be passed on culturally. The children learned it and then the tribe as a whole learned it. Have you been playing Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey and how far did you get? Plus, what questions came to your mind while thinking about our real life ancestors from this period in time? Let me know in the comments down below and if you've yet to check out gameplay of Ancestors then there's loads right here on GameSpot.com.